In 3D printing, consistency is critical. The slightest variation in your process can be the difference between your print succeeding or failing, resulting in lost time and immeasurable frustration. One often overlooked aspect of 3D printing is the seemingly minor task of changing and tightening your printer's nozzle. It may appear inconsequential, but I assure you, if mishandled, it's a surefire recipe for print failure. Nozzle leaks, broken hot ends, and temperature fluctuations are all byproducts of an improperly torqued nozzle. But it's not just about prints going wrong, it's about disrupting your manufacturing process, costing you time and money. Let's talk about tightening nozzles and how you might be doing it wrong. When it comes down to it, a properly torqued nozzle is about one thing, ensuring a tight seal between the nozzle and hot end without over tightening and damaging either component. We're gonna take a look at what happens when you don't properly tighten your nozzle, but first we need to explain a very important and often overlooked part of this whole equation the coefficient of thermal expansion. Think of the coefficient of thermal expansion or CTE as a material's tendency to grow or shrink when it gets hot or cold. It's similar to how a rubber band stretches when heated or contracts when cooled. Every material has its own unique CTE, indicating how much it expands or contracts for each degree of temperature change. Some materials like metals expand significantly when heated, while others like glass expand less. If you're a 3D printing veteran, then you probably already know that nozzles are usually changed while hot. This is because traditionally hot ends use an aluminum hot block. Aluminum has a much higher coefficient of thermal expansion than steel or brass nozzles. This means that the aluminum hot block expands more when heated than a brass or steel nozzle, leading to a tighter fit between the nozzle and the hot block threads. This makes it crucial to tighten the nozzle properly at an elevated temperature. If not hot tightened, when the hot end cools down and the aluminum contracts, it can result in an insufficient seal. At Slice, we use a copper alloy for our hot blocks. Copper has a coefficient of thermal expansion close enough to that of a steel or brass nozzle that you can change nozzles hot or cold without issue, so long as you make sure there isn't filament in your hot end when you make the change. The last thing you need to know about CTE and changing nozzles hot versus cold is that just because you can change a nozzle cold doesn't mean you always should. If you're printing at temperatures north of 300 degrees Celsius, we recommend always hot tightening your nozzle. Now that we understand the science of hot end temperature when it comes to nozzle changes, let's look at why it's important to get your nozzle seal just right. A perfect seal is crucial to prevent filament leaks and maintain stability during printing. Leaks are a 3D printer's worst enemy. If the nozzle isn't tightened correctly, you risk molten filament escaping between the nozzle and the hot end, leading to messy prints and potential clogs. To demonstrate how wrong this can go, I installed a nozzle on our Prusa Mini just slightly looser than it should be. I don't recommend doing this at home. Then I ran PLA through the hot end, and after about five minutes of constant extrusion, filament started leaking from the nozzle threads and the hot block. Here at Slice, we've seen some nozzles that even unscrew themselves from the hot end due to filament buildup and pressure. It's easy to see how a nozzle leak can ruin your print and, if gone unnoticed, could wreak havoc on your entire printing setup. On the flip side, tightening the nozzle too much can damage the nozzle, or worse, compromise the longevity and functionality of your 3D printer and hot end. When nozzles are over torched, you risk shearing the nozzle and damaging the hot end. For scientific purposes, I over-tightened brass nozzles in some old Mosquito hot blocks. Mosquito hot ends can have nozzles tightened hot or cold. So I decided to just hold the hot block in place with a vice grip to demonstrate what a nozzle shear looks like instead of doing this in a fully assembled and installed hot end. It's just safer and easier to illustrate this way. With brass nozzles, shearing is incredibly easy. I tighten the nozzles into the block and then ratchet it down just a bit too tight and it snapped in the blink of an eye. Here's a close-up look at the nozzle breaking. I measure the torque required to break these nozzles in a mosquito hot block at around five to six Newton meters, but that sounds much higher than it really is. With a standard ratchet or wrench, reaching the nozzle's breaking point is easy if you aren't careful. You'll want a nozzle torque wrench to avoid over or under tightening your nozzle. Now that we understand the importance of proper nozzle torque, let's walk through the steps of changing a nozzle, ensuring we get that torque just right. First, let's gather our tools. To do this right, you're gonna want to use a torque wrench. Now we make a nozzle torque wrench that we've pre-torqued to one and a half Newton meters, a number that we found creates the perfect seal between the nozzle and hot block for our hot ends. 
we recommend referencing your printer manufacturer's torque specification to make sure that you don't under torque your nozzle. But if you're interested in learning more about our nozzle torque wrench, there'll be a link in the description below. The other tool that you're gonna need is an adjustable wrench to hold your hot block in place. Now, if your printer uses a rigid hot end like our Mosquito, then you can just change nozzles with one hand. But if you use a traditional hot end design like our Copperhead hot end, you're gonna to wanna to use this wrench to stabilize the hot end during the nozzle change. Next, make sure your filament is unloaded from the hot end. Changing a nozzle with filament in the path can damage your hot end, especially if you're changing your nozzle cold. Once your filament is removed and your hot end is heated, hold the hot block in place, Use your torque wrench to remove the existing nozzle by turning counterclockwise. To install the new nozzle, carefully start screwing it in by hand to ensure the threads align correctly. I'm doing this barehanded because my hot end is cold, but if you're doing this on a heated hot end, I'd recommend wearing protective gloves. It goes without saying, but please be careful when installing a new nozzle and don't burn yourself. Your hot end is going to be very hot. Once your nozzle is partially threaded, just hold the hot block in place with the adjustable wrench and use the torque wrench to tighten the nozzle until you hear a click. And that's it. You've tightened your nozzle to the perfect torque, not too loose and not too tight. If you made it this far, congratulations. You are now a nozzle changing professional. I hope that now you see that proper tightening of your printer's nozzle plays an essential role in the quality and success of your prints. It's not just about avoiding immediate problems like filament leaks or nozzle shears, but also about ensuring the overall health and longevity of your 3D printer. By using the right tools like our nozzle torque wrench and understanding the importance of correct torque, you're not just fixing a part of your printer, but you're optimizing your entire 3D printing process. I hope that this has been informative and I truly appreciate your time and attention. I'll include links in the description to everything I talked about in today's video, and I'm interested to know if you've ever had any issues with over or under torquing nozzles. Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing content soon to come. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to stay zesty.